Tom, you ready to lock it up? Let's go. Since 2005, the under the games between service accounts is 40 Give me an over in this one as well. A little two for one special. I was sick of last week. They were watching two games. I was live betting the hell out of ULN. Kentucky. My blue plate special five star locks are coming. Five star master lock. Lock it up. These locks. I'm, I'm, I'm living and dying at every point, every cover. Before we get into uh, our actual, you know, picks for this game, Tom, I'll go a little like broad and and open ended. We got five and six Army. We've got five and six Navy. Uh, different rhythms to the season is one thing that kind of stands out to me about the way that things have have gone for both Army and Navy. Uh, currently, we got Army as a three point favorite. Over under a twenty seven and a half. More on the total here in a little bit, but. You know, this game's going to be 3 p.m. Eastern time. You can see it on CBS. You can stream it on Paramount+. Plus. What, what, what's, what's at top of mind when looking ahead to Saturday? Well, obviously for me, the Service Academy under. But no, um, just like, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's the end of the regular season. This is, you know, I know we had conference championships last week. But for me, Army-Navy is always the official end of the regular season. It is also one of my favorite games to watch just because of the pageantry and everything that is involved in it. So for me, I'm just really looking forward to sitting down and watching the game because I've done it since I was like, I don't know, nine or ten. So looking forward to doing it one more time. It's going to be too warm. It's in, yeah, it's in Foxborough this year. That is the one thing this year. It's completely new there. They've never played there before. Yeah, it's going to be in uh, Foxborough, Massachusetts, home of the New England Patriots. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really just devastated because right now in Foxborough, it's like 22 degrees, Army-Navy weather. Saturday around kickoff 52. Yeah. That's disappointing. Come on, weather. I uh, want this. I like the snow games for Army Navy because snow games for Army Navy really is like my memories of backyard football in the snow, where we're just like going out there running, tackling, and blocking. And that's the only thing that's happening. I understand that, but I'm on Friday I will be able to golf one more time. So I'm all for these 50 degree temperatures over the next couple of days, just personally. Um, I mentioned the, the rhythms to the season because when army got out the gate, it was a, it was a little bit tough. You know, they, they come out and they lose to ULM. They get an incredible win against UTSA, but then lose to Syracuse, lose to Boston college, lose to Syracuse, uh, lose to Boston College by three, get shut out by Troy, get blasted by LSU 62 nothing, lose to UMass, which, like, mm -hmm. at that point in the season, you're just like, oh no, Army, like, if we lost the plot, you know, what's, what's happening here? But, and this is very, very significant for the stakes of Saturday, they rebounded in a tremendous manner. One week after losing to UMass, two weeks after getting blasted by LSU, they beat Air Force. Yeah. In Denver, 23 to 3. We mentioned uh, in the instant reaction show that they benefited from Air Force mistakes, but they turned those short fields into scores in a way that allowed them to grab hold of that game. They then beat Holy Cross and Bob Chesney the very next week. Uh, then they also go on to beat Coastal Carolina. So you go from you know late October, October's turning into November, and you're like, oh, man, this is kind of sad. You know, Jeff Monken had done so much to elevate this Army program, and then you finish with the win against Air Force, Holy Cross, knock off Coastal Carolina, and if Army wins on Saturday against Navy, they get the outright commander in chief's trophy. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm very, that's, that's probably one of the things, at least on the army side where I'm like, okay, it, I was really worried earlier in the year, but you have a chance to finish with the trophy and finish on a winning streak. So something that uh, is, is definitely at top of mind for the black Knights. Yeah. And this is like, you went over the schedule, the results clearly dictated. Like this is not as good of an army team as we have seen in recent years, but for them to finish strong and get this win and still get the commander in chief trophy. Cause like you were saying, like earlier this year, I, I thought it was pretty obvious air force was going to end up winning the commander in chief trophy. They beat Navy and I figured they were going to absolutely steamroll army based on what I had seen from them earlier in the year. 
So for them to have this chance, I mean, it's just, it's awesome. I mean, they're not going bowling, obviously those, those spots are all taken, but just for, there's a lot on the line here. It's just, it's one of my favorite games every year. And for army, it would be really good to finish season, but at the same time, Navy's had a disappointing year too. And Navy really hasn't had that kind of momentum. So for them to go into this game and beat army would be a huge thing for them going into the off season, as far as finishing on a high note. So it's, it's going to be a fun game. Yeah, Temple uh, did beat UAB and ECU coming down the stretch in the American Athletic Conference to finish with a 4-4 four and four conference record. Uh, got blasted by SMU in the regular mm-hmm. season finale. But, I mean, I, I guess that we were still just too busy celebrating that incredible uh, graphic. You remember when Navy shared the on social media the graphic after beating ECU? Yes, the pirate oh. ship being blown up by a battleship. Yeah, yes, yes. You know, we we had discussed in here places here and and elsewhere that you know Navy against ECU is the old tradition of <laughs> the Navy against the Pirates. The first true college football rivalry is the yeah. Navy versus Pirates. People think it's Rutgers Princeton. No, it's it's actually <laughs> the Navy against the Pirates. Um, <laughs> college football started in the open seas. So um, it's 1872, the oceans are not battlefields. <laughs> Uh, all right. What about the game itself? Army, a three point favorite over under of 27 and a half. Has the total gotten too low? Is it is a service academy under too mainstream at this point? Uh, yeah, probably. Everybody knows about it, but I'm still taking it. I got it at 29 and a half. It is now down to 27 and a half. What is really kind of thrown a, a wrinkle into the process is people are catching on, but are these totals going down because people have caught on or is it just because that is the way the sport has gone with the rule changes? That is the one thing. Like I came into this season expecting this trend to die or this principle to be on its last legs. And obviously early in the year when I saw these totals keep going down and down, it's like, okay, it's coming. But now as we've gotten through the year again, the under has cashed in the first two of the three games. There's a pretty decent chance it's going to cash again here because everybody's still betting the under. So I don't know. It's It might be one of those things we just have to reevaluate. I'm on it. Like I said, I got it 29 and a half. I will still lock it up at 27 and a half, although obviously you'd be a lot more comfortable if it was 28. But still... <laughs> Anything over 24, I don't think is too much to ask, honestly. Because neither one of these offenses has been great this year. That's true. That's true. Hey, how about uh, I'd forgotten this little storyline. Army Navy is going to be a conference game. Yeah. With uh, with SMU leaving uh, the American Athletic Conference, the American Athletic Conference will be replacing them, in football at least, with, uh, with the Army. So... I hear that's why Mike Oresco retired. He just he doesn't want to. He, he hates the truth. No, <laughs> Shout out to Mike Oresco, big yep. fan of the podcast. You have filled our email inboxes with angry statements for years. <laughs> May you enjoy every bit of your retirement. I mean, I think it'll be good for his health because he is, he has been so mad for so long. So mad for so long. Yeah. Um. Again, Army. When is Army's arrival in the? I should have uh, next summer, right? To join AAC Army to join, yeah, yeah, yeah. beginning with the 2024 season. Sure. Last time is a non-con game, but they will keep it on the weekend after conference championship weekend. So, just dis- That's honestly, it's it's respecting tradition and disrespecting <laughs> the troops. It is both respecting the troops and disrespecting their ability to compete for conference championships. Yeah, I know. It's like, what happens if Army and Navy are playing for the conference title? Like, what? Like, it's, we've still got one more game to play. Or no, never mind. They're not counting it as a conference game. I'm sorry. Oh. I think that okay. was the wrinkle in it, yeah. Interesting. Cool. All right. Well, uh, that, that'll, again, be starting next year. It'll be like I North am- Carolina versus Wake Forest every year. Yeah, North Carolina versus Wake Forest is a non-con game to fulfill the Power 5 non-con requirement. It's beautiful. Save money on uh, plane flights. Um, <laughs> so I will also be going under 27 and a half because I like my chip line value. I want it to be under 28. I'm going to say that again. I want to have the under at a number that is under 28. So I'm also going to make a little play on the side here. and. Uh, Give me the Black Knights. 
Brian Newberry has done a better job with this Navy team than I might have expected, but I think the high, the highs of Army's scattered results show a quality that is higher than Navy ceiling. So I'm, I'm a full three in the, this game is going to be a lot to cover, but I think I would rather have Army sweat the cover than try to have Navy because if you've got Navy plus three. You basically need to believe that they have are going to have a shot to win the game at the end. Give me an alt line, Army minus six and a half. Ooh, move the sliders. Mm -hmm. Let's Slide go, baby. Over Army minus six and a half. You heard it here. We'll take uh, we'll take Army minus three as well. Again, it is the Army Navy game. You can watch it on CBS at three p.m. Eastern time. That is America's most watched network, the Network of Stars. You can stream it on Paramount. Plus.